Hello dears, Ole here. Today I am going to show you how to create a steampunk style photo frame. As a base I am going to use a simple small canvas and a simple wooden frame which I found in our local dollar store. First I am preparing the frame. I am going to glue on the back side of the frame thin stripes of a heavy weight chipboard. We need these stripes to create some space between the frame and the frame background. It's important to be able to insert the photo into the frame later. Now I'm going to glue the frame to the frame background. Uh, just uh, make sure not to glue the upper side of the frame. By the way, for the frame background I'm using a heavyweight black watercolor paper. Now I'm just gluing the frame to the canvas. And I'm sorry for my voice today. I'm sick with flu and it's uh, pretty hard for me to talk. Now I'm going to use some cheaper die cuts negatives to create a background texture. I really love to use uh, cheaper negatives, especially in steampunk style, because uh, they remind me some kind of uh, mechanical parts. Now I am going to cover this first layer, including frame, with a black gesso. I decided to add to the same background layer a few more chipboard pieces, and I also will cover them with a black gesso. Now I am trying to show you which embellishments I probably will use in this project. Now I am going to build the second layer, which will be created of chipboard gears.
and because uh, this project going to be very dimensional I have to cover uh, with the black gesso each layer separately Now I'm going to add the last layer of uh, embellishments, all the 3D elements. The best way to glue them is uh, with a 3D matte gel. All the metal elements I'm going to cover with a clear gesso. Because they are already in metallic colors, we don't have to change the colors completely. So it's uh, much more easy to use here clear gesso than trying to cover each centimeter with a black one.
Uh, because uh, this project is uh, very dimensional and we have a lot of different layers, it will be much more easy first to use the mists just to insert uh, the color between the layers and the elements. color the lamp I'm using yellow alcohol ink and now I begin to create the metallic look when you work with art alchemy metallic paints remember to use soft brush and uh, to add a really small amount of uh, the paint it's important to get a beautiful color transitions
Now I'm going to use only one of military rust paint, the green gray, and I'm going to highlight only the embellishments which uh, place it around the frame. And I have to tell you that uh, this new dabbing brushes uh, by Fina Bear just amazing for all rust pastes. I really love this combination of a uh, metallic background and more matte look of uh, all the embellishments. Now I want to bring back some of metallic shine to the embellishments. So I'm adding really small touches with edged brass wax. Because I still don't have a photo to insert to the frame and I don't like this black hole, I decided to add there a piece of a scrapbooking cardstock. But there is still enough space to insert later some beautiful photo. That's it, I hope you liked this tutorial. Link to the supplies list you will find in the movie description. If you have any questions about the process or materials, you're welcome to ask me in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye!